Well, today is Ragnarok because Thor is dying. And I thought I was recording a second ago, but it didn't work. So, it is what it is. I've already started. But, Andrew wanted me to get a recording of his old friend's demise because he's kind of sadistic that way. Um, but, yeah, Thor's been a, a good friend to us. Helped us out when we really didn't have much going on as far as productive capacity. Um, my philosophy has always been if you're capable, then build your stuff yourself. You're going to save yourself a lot of money. You're going to be able to make something that's exactly what you need. So, that was this. Now, the biggest problem with Thor was that he was messy, which is kind of accurate as far as the um, the mythology. Thor was, well, he wasn't the most intelligent character, but he just got the, the job done. Um, you can see, this working with that every day. <laughs> well, he did his job. Now I know Andrew has already covered this, but I wanted to show just how shoddy this construction is. It was really just meant to be a prototype. I figured we'd use it for a couple months until we figured out something better. And then, you know, a couple years later, <laughs> it was still being used. But you can see I've got gaps as big as my fingers and it's literally held together with baling twine and wire. Really a very simple idea, simple machine. Um, so the big thing is just don't be afraid. You're probably going to build something that sucks, but it's going to be a lot better than what you have. And that's the main thing. Let it pay for itself. That's the war. Since the last time you guys have seen this, I put this little shim try to keep it from making so much of a mess. It helped, believe it or not, but uh, <laughs> yeah, still made a mess. Anyway, that's the old hammer with the little pivot I put in so that the pneumatic pusher rod could run it. And that worked for a little bit, but now we've got, what are you guys calling it, Hephaestus, um, the Priestwood, Swamp Bagger, I can't remember, I don't really like any of those names, but um, I appreciate your feedback, for sure. Uh, I still don't know what to call it, I guess it's still working title, Prometheus, because that's what Andrew said, and he's boss, or something. Um, one thing I did want to point out, when I first made this, it was about two feet tall in the front, and it was kind of a pain to load. So, you can see, I just went freehand with a jigsaw. And obviously my hand isn't the most steady when it comes to jigsaw work. But, it was a lot easier to load. It's about 17 inches. I used the same size for the other bagger. So, don't judge my construction technique. I am not. the cleanest always though. So for 
any of you that aren't terribly DIY oriented, these star drive bits and screws with the self drilling, those are amazing. <laughs> I've reused these ones like four or five times already and they've still got Yeah, again, I just wanted to get a little bit of a view of what's going on inside here. You can see these uh, I don't know what that is. I guess it's a trapezoid cuts that I made. Um, and you can see laid out where they are relative to each other and how the hammer fits in. I honestly, I don't recommend anybody build this same design. It worked well for when we had it, but as you can see, it was just impossible to make it not be messy. So, that's that. Oh yeah, you can see the bracing. We were pretty tight. As far as cash goes, when this was put together, so I literally just found whatever piece of scrap wood I could find in order to just hold this thing up and <laughs> oh man it's beautiful alright bring this sucker around so you can still see the keep reusing the same boards. You end up with all these little screw holes that you don't know whether you actually use them or not in the current project. Also, here's a fun thing. Right here, the um, fulcrum, I guess, on which the hinge would move, it's just a screw. And I had drilled a hole in the hammer. It worked.
call me Yeomangand. That sucker's dead. That's it. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our other videos.